Looks like I'll have to get a fender washer to finish the insulation of this, as I have large holes in the in this brush guard. You can at least mount them in place and see how they look. Almost forgot my heat shrink tubing. So I turned those on a second ago, as you saw, I just attested that they are connected and they, are, that they do work a lot with the rest of the wiring in the vehicle. Um, tonight I'll be doing a driving test, so in a few more hours I'm gonna mount, the, uh, I'm gonna mount my camera to the roof of the vehicle, drive around and just do a, a nighttime brightness test. Um, pretty dark area, uh, just to see how much these overshine the headlights. Now I do need to buy some fender washers just to just to finish this up. So if your if the holes that you're mounting that you're using as mount holes are a larger diameter than what the uh, the bolt calls for, uh, then you're going to have to get fender washers to mount those. So I'm going to get that, and then I'm just going to reattach my little panel to the bottom of the the brush guard. Uh, but that's it for this video. Keep watching for the nighttime brightness test. And there's no street lights at all right here, so I'm just going to flip the fog lights on. And fog lights are on. That's that's some uh, some bright stuff. I can see everything. It's like high beamed. And I'm just in a residential area right now with just some street lights. So I'm just gonna flip on the uh, fog lights again. And you can see there's some crazy illumination. So that's it's bright. <laughs> 